The following is a production of Learfield Sports. This copyrighted telecast is the property of Black Bear Sports Properties, LLC, an affiliate of Learfield Sports, LLC, under rights granted by the University of Maine. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, reproduction, or other dissemination or use of this telecast or any part of it without the express written consent of Black Bear Sports Properties, LLC, is prohibited. This legal disclaimer is brought to you by Lanham, Blackwell, and Baber, proud supporter of the Black Bears. If you have any legal questions, visit them at LanhamBlackwell.com. Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of the Black Bear Insider. I'm your host, Brian Sullivan. Thank you very much for joining us. We're here on Morse Field to start things today because football is taking center stage. We'll speak with head coach Jack Cosgrove about his start to the 2015 season, as well as senior captain Trevor Bates, a defensive lineman who very well one day may play in the NFL. We're also going to talk to Marcus Wasileski, who has now taken over the strength and conditioning program here at the University of Maine. We'll go inside the weight room as Wash shows his guys the way. We'll also catch up with UMaine basketball standout Liz Wood as they prepare for the upcoming season, not to mention a visit to Compliance Corner, as well as a visit with Jim Dyer, who shows us how he gets his goalies ready for the women's soccer team here. Defense, such a big part of what they've done so far. A look at the upcoming schedule and much more. This is the Black Bear Insider. Black Bear Insider is brought to you by Lanham Blackwell and Baber, Division of Lifelong Learning, Maine Savings, EBS Building Supplies, Fisher Plows, and Digital Workshop. No matter what your game is, indoors or out, the Student Recreation and Fitness Center at the University of Maine is your place to play, work out, relax, and have fun. The Rec Center has state-of-the-art cardio and weight training equipment, a pool, spa, and sauna, a running track, and more than 60 fitness classes a week. Or take your game outside with the Maine Bound Adventure Center. Hit the climbing or bouldering wall. Learn how to kayak, go rock climbing. Whatever game you like, the Student Recreation and Fitness Center is your place to play. Under the bright lights of your playing field, one performer continues to shine. The Fisher Extreme V. With durable X-bracing, the Extreme V carries the load. With precision passes, the power to bust through, the maximum protection of the Fisher trip edge, and the brightest lights available. Fisher, your business, our passion. Learn more at vplowfacts.com. Welcome back to the Black Bear Insider, joined by Maine football head coach Jack Cosgrove. Jack, how you doing? Sully, I'm doing great, thanks. All right, he'll find you in the midst of your bye week. Uh, a little bit different schedule this year. Uh, start with BC, a week off, and then you get ready to go take on Tulane. It, it's worked out well for us having, you know, uh, a bye after a game like Boston College. Uh, Brian, it got us a chance to uh, watch the tape and, and to revisit the game itself and, and, and not rush through it and get on to another opponent. This is unique. Uh, situation we have playing two FBS teams back to back so you know being able to like I said spend time on the field make Maine better in, in our three practice sessions last week mm -hmm. and then get ready for Tulane I think is uh, is a pretty good equation for success and hopefully that's what we're going to see uh, this coming weekend. Now talk to us a little bit about the nature of the animal that is college football at the FCS level where you're going to play your first two uh, opponents are going to be out, out of league out of, uh, out of division. Yeah, you see it more and more across the country. Uh, we may be the only team playing two FBS games, and uh, you know it's just a necessity here for, for you know funding purposes and all those type of things. Something that you um, you just have to face the facts on. Uh, I, I think our program has represented at the university very well in, in the history of us playing this football game. We haven't had any of those uh, 76 to nothing type of 
fiascos that I think are bad for college football when mm -hmm. that happens. You look down the street and they had to shorten the periods down at BC this week and do some of those things that are just, that's not good for college football. But, you know, we're, we're, take, we're ready to take it on and, and we enjoy the opportunity, the challenge, and it's very motivating to our players. They, they have embraced it and, and, and work real hard getting ready to play that game. Now, I've heard you say in the past that the team you see out there in game one is starkly different than the game you see out there in game two. Explain that to me a little bit. Well, it's, it's just the anxiety and the anticipation from game one and the newness of the game, mm -hmm. not only to the, 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 the newer players, the first and second year players, but also the veterans. I mean, it's, we're all removed. As a head coach, we're, we're removed from the actual arena for nine months or so, you know? So there's the checklist of have we arranged uh, organized, have we done all the things needed to do? How are we going to handle these situations in the game? Because football is a game of sudden change, a game of uh, control chaos and all those kind of things. And have you been able to, you know, kind of make sure that happens? And, and you know, I, I bet you the first week of the year is the, le the, year, the week that leads in all of 10 men on the field you know, sure. things like that happen. Somebody, we had it happen at BC. One of our guys who's on defense, supposed to be on the punt return team, came off first-year player mm -hmm. came off we had 10 guys embarrassing can't happen again could cost us mm -hmm. but we'll fix it and that's the kind of thing you worry about in that game one now uh, real briefly before I, I let you go back to work I know it's a busy week of preparation where does the strength of this team lie do you think uh, this year as you move down the road you know the, the, the attitude of the team I, I, I've liked uh, tremendously since we've got together the way we went about our winter program the way we went about spring practice summer program all those things uh, their effort level they they have they put out good practices they work hard um, been a disciplined group you ask them to do something they get it done so uh, those all lead to the, the, the signs that tell you that you know if they're disciplined they'll make sacrifices if they're hard workers they'll overcome adversity if they have a great attitude they'll bounce back if things don't go wrong and they'll stay humble when things are going well I think those are all foundational values that you got to have in a good football program. Mm -hmm. Whether or not we can perform, well, that, that's that's our job to get that out of them as coaches, to push them physically and mentally to, to bring out their God-given skills. I think we have some talented players on this football team that we're going to see that from. All right, Coach, thank you very much for your time. Main football team back here in Orono the weekend of September 26th, Jack Bicknell weekend. Should be a fantastic time. One of those players who Coach just talked about that has uh, laid down that foundation for success, Trevor Bates. Defensive lineman, senior, blue chip prospect, perhaps will one day be playing on Sunday. He'll join us after the break. Here are two wallets. The one on the left is a regular wallet. The one on the right is Red Wallet from Maine Savings. What makes Red Wallet so special? Wait for it. Oh yeah, there it is. Red Wallet is free checking with monthly rewards and ATM fee refunds. Red Wallet offers rewards of high interest, cash back, or even tunes. Open your free Red Wallet account today, only at Main Savings. EBS Building Supplies knows time is the most valuable resource you have. That's why they offer free delivery anywhere in their service area. Fast, convenient, and free, that's the EBS way. So whether you're a professional contractor or a do-it-yourself homeowner, no delivery is too small or too big, and custom ordering is always available. Use EBS free delivery to make your life easier and your home improvement project complete faster. EBS Building Supplies. Can do. Just ask. Getting your education through UMaine Online offers all the advantages you'd expect. Access to the state's premier public research institution. World-class faculty who are leaders in their fields. Active learning and interaction with your professors and classmates. A flexible schedule where and when you need it. Online student services dedicated to your success. <laughs> UMaine Online, where you want to be. Welcome back to the Black Bear Insider. Now joining us, defensive lineman Trevor Bates. Trevor, entering your senior year. Thank you very much for being here, and how you feeling? I'm feeling good, man. Beautiful day. Got our uh, first practice of the week. I feel good. Now, uh, it's been a unique start to the year with you and the, your football cohorts here. You got a, a bye week, week two. Has that been a little bit different for you? Uh, not really. I think it's kind of been a blessing in disguise. Um, I know the whole team's hungry to get back out there. It feels like, you know, we just went through a whole other camp, sure. you know, a whole week off kind of. Feels like a long time, especially at the beginning of the season. So we're definitely excited to get back with the pads on and get hitting. 
Now, a little bit later in the show, we're going to talk to Marcus Wasileski, who is taking over the strength and conditioning program here in, uh, in Orono. And one of the things that stands out is the amount of dedication that came maybe primarily over the course of the summer here with the football guys. Absolutely. Uh, I, one, I think he's doing a great job, phenomenal job uh, coming into that role. Um, we had two previous strength coaches. He kind of is a combination of both, which definitely helps him out. Um, he played the game here, too. So he knows what we've been through so he can relate to us and he can definitely help coaches in um, different aspects of the game. Um, as far as the summer, uh, it was one of our best summers up here. We had close to 80 kids. Um, everyone was working hard. Everyone was together competing, pushing each other. So it was, a, it was a great summer. Hopefully it benefits the season. Now, do you set goals for yourself uh, weekly see, uh, as a season? I, Trevor, for those who don't know, is a preseason All-American, All-CAA team. Uh, that's got to be nice, but also kind of sets the bar pretty high for what you want to do. You know, I just I expect myself to play great every game and not miss plays and kind of leave it out on the field. That's kind of my goal every week. And, you know, the byproduct of that is, you know, where all the accolades come in. So as long as I come prepared to each game every Saturday and just play hard and do my job and help the team win, that takes care of the rest. Now, the th things that happen at a conference are one thing, but then once you get into that CAA schedule, that's really where you're going to make your money. Yeah, absolutely. The conference, uh, the CAA is a great conference. Um, every game is whoever shows up. It doesn't really matter the records. You know, whoever comes to play that day, that's, uh, that's who's going to win. So, you know, we're not focused on that right now. We'll get there, and once we get there, we'll be prepared, and we'll... Uh, be uh, looking to win. All right, Trevor Bates, thank yeah. you very much. If you haven't seen Trevor play, do yourself a favor, get up here to Morse Field and check him out in person. He's a fantastic guy to watch on the field every Saturday. Hey, Black Bear fans, this is Brett Baber with Lanham, Blackwell & Baber, and this is Compliance Corner. We're here to help you understand some of the most misunderstood rules and regulations that commonly affect our Black Bear athletes and programs. Today I'd like to talk to you about what defines a booster and who a booster is. A booster is anyone who has ever promoted the athletic department, provided services for UMaine Athletics, made any financial contribution to any team or the athletic department, purchased season tickets to any Black Bear program, works or worked for the athletic department, or is the spouse of someone who has done so, and has otherwise promoted the athletic department or program in any manner. Here is the most important thing to remember. Once you've been identified as a booster, you retain that title indefinitely. So if you have any questions about this or any other compliance questions, feel free to contact the Black Bear Compliance Office at 207-581-1537 or visit goblackbears.com slash information slash compliance. This has been Compliance Corner, brought to you by Lanham, Blackwell & Baber. After the break, we'll catch up with Marcus Wasileski, now the strength and conditioning coach here at the University of Maine for the football team, formerly the team's quarterback. We'll speak to him a little bit about that transition from the field to the weight room and how he gets his guys ready each and every week. That's when the Black Bear Insider returns.
Welcome back to the Black Bear Insider. This is a first for us here. Marcus Wasilewski joining us, formerly a player. Now you're back. Uh, you were a guest and now here as a strength and conditioning coach for the uh, Black Bear sports programs. How's that transition been for you? It's been great. I mean, it's a really rewarding process for me. Um, it's a little bit different being on the dark side now with the coaches. Um, but any way I could stay connected to the game of football is just, it's always a rewarding game and always humbling game. Um, and to be able to help these guys out and guide them through what I went through here and the experience I've had, just giving advice, not only in the weight room, but on the field and, you know, outside of these doors. It's just, it's really been great. Now you got your education here at Maine. It was in, in this. This is uh, what you yep. always aspired to do. Yep. And now you stayed here in Orono, and that must have been nice for you to get your, your career started here on yeah, the professional side. Very fortunate, very lucky. I'm honored to be here. Um, was, was lucky enough to fall in a good position. Um, graduated in 2013 and then pursued my master's degree. Um, while doing a graduate assistantship with Doc Leonard in the kinesiology department, which was also awesome. Um, and then again, fortunately enough, this, this position kind of fell into place with, you know, Murray getting the director job and Coach Cause pitching me to, sure. to take over for the football program. So very, very fortunate to start my career at, at this level. Now you work so closely with the football program. Take us uh, a little bit through or inside what you do here in the weight room and uh, to get the guys ready. Right. So, I mean, all we talk about is getting bigger, faster, stronger. That's mm -hmm. our motto. Um, right now in season, the guys who play in the games, we only go twice a week just to avoid the overtraining, stuff like that. Um, our first year guys, the freshmen, they have the opportunity to lift four times a week, um, really to get their central nervous system active, to, to teach the lifts that I do. Um, just that way, so when we get to the off season, they're used to the lifts and we don't have to worry about the progression process of things. Um, and the off season is really when we turn it up and everybody goes four times a week and that's when you'll see a lot of the sprints going on outside and really cranking it up in here. And now you mentioned a little bit before staying connected to the game. What's it like as you transition from a guy who takes snaps and out there calls the plays and now you're sitting there watching and just trying to help the team sure. get you by each uh, Saturday afternoon? Well, it's a little different not making the plays and hearing the roar of a touchdown when you're in the when you're in the pads, but I think my leadership skills still translate over to the weight room. You know, I have to be able to speak in front of the group. I have to be able to direct the guys in a positive direction. Um, so as far as that's concerned, I think there's a lot of similarities between being a player as a quarterback and coming in and being a coach. After the break, we'll catch up with Maine women's basketball standout Liz Wood. If you think what she does on the court is impressive, wait till you see what she does off it. That's when the Black Bear Insider comes back. A wave of game day excitement is rolling into Duncan. Taste the new Tailgater breakfast sandwich stacked with smoked sausage, fire roasted peppers and onions. America runs on Duncan. Oh, wait, wait. I'm going to need you to ring these all up separately, please. Separately. Oh, seriously with the dime thing again? What? I earn a dime every time I swipe. Now hand me those socks. Nope, just one at a time. With Make Sense Checking from Gorham Savings Bank, you earn 10 cents on all debit card purchases that post and clear. Apply online in as little as five minutes. Thank you. Another dime. This fall at Dunkin' Donuts, get lost in pumpkin. Pick up your favorite pumpkin-flavored beverages and baked treats like the new pumpkin cheesecake square while they're still here. America runs on Dunkin'. Welcome back to the Black Bear Insider. You'd be hard pressed to find a student athlete anywhere across the country who maximizes their college experience more than UMaine women basketball's Liz Wood. She spent the entire summer and really her entire career pursuing and excelling at many different things, representing student athletes at the national level, working at basketball camps and conducting research into cures for diabetes. As she begins her final season in a Black Bear uniform, Liz is trying to enjoy every aspect of the college experience. This is my senior year and I do have a lot going on, but I definitely wanted to get involved in a lot of different things. I'm interested in a lot of different things. So I'm senior captain on the women's basketball team. I'm involved in SAC, Student Athlete Advisory Committee, and I am recently elected to the Division I National SAC. And we really just try to give the student athletes a voice in the NCAA legislation decisions and just bringing up the issues that affect student athletes. I'm also working on my honors thesis in the lab of Chrissy Townsend. It's a neurobiology lab and we're looking at the types of nerves that innervate adipose tissue, so fat tissue. We believe that looking at this project can help us prevent type 2 diabetes in the long term because we believe that more nerves in the fat tissue can 
make the fat tissue healthier and that can contribute to long-term health. Liz is a great example of a student athlete, so she's a very good student but also spends a lot of her time on the basketball team and she's also part of the honors program. So she's joined our lab and will work over the summer and throughout the next year to do an honors research thesis. She'll be looking at diabetic models and how those uh, differ in their innervation with the types of nerves and what those nerves are, are releasing into the fat tissue and how that might affect the function and we're hoping the beneficial function of burning calories. I definitely think that as an athlete, energy expenditure and you know metabolism and how we store fat is very important um, and it's always been very interesting to me. You know, I work out a lot and it's we're always talking about eating healthy and um, how exercise can contribute to, you know, maintaining long-term health. Um, and obviously health is important to me. I want to be a doctor one day. So I think this is, you know, just giving me another side, like another view at um, health that I've never really looked at before, and it's just opening my eyes to different type of research opportunities for me. So the first step is always learning a technique. So Liz has been learning microtome slicing of paraffin embedded tissues. And so with anything that's new, you have to get your muscle memory going and learn, you know, the right movements and how to get replicatable slices and things like that. So she's doing very well. One thing that I don't, I didn't really expect about research is that doesn't always work. You know, like you always hear about the things that um, are working in lab, but you know, you hit a lot of bumps in the road, just like in basketball, like sometimes you lose games, sometimes your experiment doesn't work. And so you have to, uh, you know, just fight back and just stay persistent and just try to be creative and find ways around it. The season's gonna be really special. We have eight seniors, and the majority of our senior class has been together since my freshman year and it's going to be a very emotional year. We've already had people, you know, crying, talking about leaving, and, um, but it's just so much fun. Like, they're my family, you know, and I just love being around them so much and just playing with them. It's a really indescribable feeling, you know, playing in the cross center in front of a big crowd with my, with my teammates, and uh, it's just going to be a fun year. You just want to have fun and just prove that we've come really far and just, you know, like surprise ourselves with how well we can do. I think the University of Maine has a lot to offer, you know, and I think It'd be a disservice to myself to only look into one subject that I'm interested in, like just stay in basketball or just look at research. The faculty is really flexible and they're really helpful to accommodate those different interests that I have. And they've helped me a lot on be able to balance everything. So I think I have a really great opportunity here and I want to maximize that. I'm having a lot of fun. And I, it's very interesting. Obviously it's challenging. Like every time I you know, get into a new subject or something, like I find a whole new world that I could be interested in. And I just want to branch out and see as many different things as I can before I really decide what I want to do. Certainly going to be an exciting season for the Maine women's basketball team. Liz Wood and her senior campaign going to be a huge part of how far the Black Bears can go. Now, how far can the Maine women's soccer team go? That may lie in the defense. A fantastic showing in the first portion of this season. Goalie play, a big part of that. And Jim Dyer takes us inside the game, showing us the drills that he puts his team through to get them ready for each opponent. Uh, we'll show you some things that we might do typically on the day before a game to enhance our coordination, enhance our quickness, and uh, an eye-hand coordination with the ball. This is Claudia Duby trempe Claudia is a junior from uh, Chamblay, Quebec, and uh, we'll do something with Claudia. We're trying to test her quickness here. We're gonna use two balls at one time and see if she and I can keep that going. Good, Claudia. So this is concentration for Claudia quickness of her hands, being able to keep both balls going at the same time, and good Claudia. One of our other goalkeepers is Sam Kobotic. Sam is a freshman from um, Long Island, New York, and Sam has come along nicely and really uh, had a great preseason and early start to the season for us. Sam's going to do the same thing. Here we go, Sam. And we go again. And good. Okay, Sam and Claudia will do something now with two balls at once again, a similar kind of thing for quickness, for coordination, eye hand movement. Sam's gonna take this ball. You're right here, Sam, facing me. Claudia, you're right here facing Sam. Two balls at once, you use that one, okay? Claudia is going to just toss her ball out here, straight forward, 
Sam will do the same thing and then they'll adjust their body positions and move over. Again, this is for quickness and uh, eye hand coordination, but it's also for footwork, moving their feet quickly, making proper catches. And go. Okay, good ladies, and thank you, good. All right, one last one we'll do. Claudia, take this ball, you hold that ball. Sam, I'll take another one. Claudia has a ball in her hand, she's holding it. I'm gonna hit a ball to her. As soon as I strike the ball and it goes towards her, she's gonna drop the one that she's holding and she's gonna catch the one that I serve to her. Again, another quickness exercise for eye-hand coordination. Sam, keep me supplied if you would, ready? Good. Good, Claudia. Concentration. Good. And go. All right, those were easy serves. I'm going to hit it a little bit harder now. Good, Claudia. Good. Notice how Claudia moves her feet as well to get her body behind it. Her concentration is great in this exercise. Okay, one more with more pace and good. Sam, same thing. And go. Good. Good. Good, Sam. Good footwork. I got this one, Chloe. Good. Good. Couple more. Okay, with pace this time. And one more. With pace. Good. It's an exciting time here on the University of Maine campus. Summer hasn't quite gone. The weather is still beautiful. A fantastic time to come check out your favorite Black Bear teams. With that in mind, here's a look at the upcoming schedule. That wraps it up for this week's edition of the Black Bear Insider. Thank you very much for joining us. If you want more information before we join you again, go to goblackbears.com. They've got all your scores, highlights, and everything you could possibly want to know about your favorite squad. Until we see you again, we will say, Go Black Bears!